I still still have uh, nightmares, still seeing a psychotherapist for for uh, support, and uh, I can't get out of my mind the uh, the scene of the shooting of Reese. You know the the way that it transpired, and she tripped and fell by the tree yeah. near the fountain, and this guy just leaped back to took two leaps and uh, like a predatory animal and uh, finishing its prey, he just, he just shot on top of, I mean, he stood up on top of her and shot her point blank another three times. At that point, I put my head uh, on cement, you know, like I was laying, laying down uh, and I was expecting a bullet myself, but before that, uh, when Somebody pushed me. The, the guy next to me that was standing up got a bullet in in the in the side, in the in the rib cage. I obviously had hate uh, built up in him because his face was contorted, like you know, and he was shouting something in a foreign language, sounded like Alakbar, you know. The next thing I see is he's standing on the south side of Danforth. The southeast corner, in front of Logan and you know in Logan and Danforth, and shooting at a car that was passing by, and some shots towards the patios that were sitting. People were sitting outside. Then I see him crossing diagonally the intersection and going to the northwest corner side of the street. Keep shooting, you know, and uh, randomly turning around and shooting. But what struck me as well, he was like, you know, he was holding the gun with both hands and like, you know, I guess, and making a, a started step, you know, put one leg behind the other and shooting. So he, he was on purpose, like, you know, he was aiming and shooting, you know, trying to hit as many people as possible. So, and then I kept hearing the shot as he moved, walking on the north sidewalk after you know he crossed in front of the TT bank, I couldn't see him anymore, but I could hear shots for a few moments. 